composition is about Adolf Hitler, and it's by me, Ian Whitehurst, which is my Elias. Early life. Adolf Hitler was born on April 20th, 1889 in a small, quaint town in Austria called Braunau am Inn. His father's name was Alois Hitler, and his mother's name was Clara Polzel. He had difficulty in school and ultimately decided to drop out and pursue a career in art. Shortly after he made that decision, his father died, and he was rejected from Vienna's Academy of Fine Arts. Then his mother, Clara, died in 1908, leaving Hitler, who was only 19 years, alone, 19 years old, alone. He moved to Vienna, where he just managed to stay alive by painting the beautiful scenery of Vienna and then selling his artwork. In his spare time, he enjoyed reading books, and thanks to that, Hitler found out that he was interested in politics. During this isolated time period in his life, he developed many of the ideas that would shape Nazi ideology. Eventually, his artwork failed him, and he was forced to live in homeless shelters. During this time, he continually read books on politics, and this was where he became this is where he became anti-Semitic or prejudiced against all Jewish people. When World War I began, Hitler saw an opportunity to get out of his difficult situation and applied to join the German military. He was accepted into the German military in August of 1914. He spent most of his time away from the front lines and was wounded only once. He was given a few medals, but overall his military experience in itself wasn't especially major. The war itself, however, made his German patriotism flare even brighter, and as a result, he thought that the current leaders and Marxists, who are people who value material items more than spiritual items, were v responsible for Germany's loss. After the war, he continued to work for the German military as an intelligence officer. His purpose was to monitor the activities of the Germans' workers' party. As he continued monitoring them, he actually adopted many of the anti-Semitic ideas of party founder Anton Drexler. Shortly afterwards, he left the army, joined the NSDAP, and began making speeches. Later, Hitler and the SA, an organization that was like an unofficial military, stormed a public meeting featuring the Bavarian Prime Minister, and he announced there that the National Revolution of Germany had begun. Shortly afterwards, he was arrested for treason and jailed. During Hitler's nine, month in, nine months in prison in 1924, he wrote an autobiography, Mein Kampf, also known as My Struggle. During the Great Depression, after his release from prison, Hitler ran for president, and even though he got second in each vote, his opponent, Paul von Hindenburg, let him be the Fuhrer for political balance. <clears throat> after becoming the Fuhrer or leader of Germany, Hitler did many things that, to me, are absolutely deplorable, immoral, and inhuman. The moment he was put into office, he used his power to pass something he created, known as the Engineering Act, which gave him and his subordinates full legislative powers for four years and allowed them to make deviations from the Constitution. In other words, Hitler and his subordinates were beyond the law and couldn't really be punished for anything that they did. He also sent assassins to kill leaders of the SA and political leaders, including his contestant for president, Paul von Hindenburg. He used his public speaking skills and propaganda to convince German citizens to think of themselves as members of a perfect race and encouraged or even supported anti-Semitic groups. He, of course, created hundreds of anti-Jew laws in order to restrict the freedom of and alienate Jews. Uh, for example, Hitler encouraged all German citizens to never buy anything from Jews, which led to most business-owning Jews losing their stores. He also encouraged citizens to burn non-German books, which resulted in the burning of more than 25,000 books, as well as a time of Nazi propaganda and censorship. In World War II, the Nazi party in Germany, under Hitler, killed approximately 11 million Jews. He put disabled or homosexual people, including women and children, into concentration camps, jailed them, or even killed them. Besides these examples, there's still many more examples of Hitler's brutality and inhumaneness, and he wouldn't even be able to fit all the inhumane things he's done into one full slideshow. Overall, I think that Hitler was a despotic, tyrannical lunatic. 
that deserved every loss he got in World War II. He killed millions of people and injured tens of millions of people. He caused uncountable families to lose important members, and his cruel torture of German and his cruel torture of Jewish children and homosexual people shocked the entire world. He backstabbed people who trusted him, ordered assassins to kill political rivals, and turned Germany's government into a, an absolute dictatorship. The only seriously great quality about Hitler that I can respect was that he was always kind towards German children and often went out of his way to smile or greet them. But that doesn't change the fact that he killed hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions more Jewish children for no reason except for being Jewish. He was like a demon incarnate that brought death, pain, and evil beliefs, some of which are still around to this very day. And these are the sources I used.